Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to do green chicken basole. First, you're gonna start off by cooking your chicken. I got two chicken breasts. I'll be adding one whole onion to it. Two garlic cloves and two bay leaves. I'll add some salt. I'm gonna cook this on medium heat for 30 minutes. While I have my chicken cooking, I'm gonna get started by roasting my chilies. I have it on my flat grill. I'm gonna just keep a good eye on this and keep on flipping them until it's charred on all sides. If you have a gas stove, it will be a lot easier. Just put them on the open flame. Since I have electric, it's gonna take a while. Or if you prefer, you can also roast them in the oven. I have a pot of water. I'm going to cook my thalmatheels in there. I removed the husk and I rinsed them because they are quite sticky. I'm just going to cook those for about 10 minutes or until they change colors. Now back to my chilies. As I said before, they do take a while. So as soon as they're nice and brown and charred on all sides, you just want to get it and put it in a Ziploc bag. I also added a paper towel to the Ziploc. It just helps to remove the skin off the chilies a lot better. I'm also gonna be roasting a jalapeno, a half an onion, and one garlic clove. All this will be roasted and then it'll be added to my blender. You just wanna keep on roasting your chilies until it's completely charred on all sides and then add it to the Ziploc. Now it's time to check on the chicken. It's already been about a half hour and I'm just gonna get a spoon and scoop out that foam because we did not want it in our soup. So just try to get as much foam as possible. And then this will be a good time to start removing the whole garlic cloves and the bay leaves. All right, now back to the chilies. I'm gonna remove it from my Ziploc and just start peeling them. As you can see, it removes easily. I'm also gonna go inside and remove all the seeds and the membranes and make sure they're completely clean. Okay, so now I have all the chilies already cleaned. I already removed all the seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice off the stem part and then cut up the chilies and place them in the blender. Okay, so now it's time to make the sauce. I already have all my chilies in the blender and I'm adding two cups of water. One bunch of cilantro. Just eyeballing them, just adding some chicken bouillon, the nor. and my garlics that I already roasted along with the onion and the jalapeno. And I'm gonna add in my tomatillos. All right, so I'm gonna puree this for a few minutes.
Okay, so once it's done, you're going to be adding this to a large pan. You want to go ahead and cook the chili until it's a dark green color. Go ahead and mix it from time to time so it can heat up evenly. Okay, and yes, I do freeze my hominy. It freezes very well. I find it cheaper to buy the big kind of hominy, use it for one meal, and save the other half for later. This is roughly about maybe two cups of hominy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my pot. Along with my shredded chicken. So I'll mix that in there together. Now it's time to check on the chili. As you can see, it's a more of a darker green color. So now it's ready to add to my pot. So carefully, I'm gonna pour it in. I have some spices I'll be adding to it. I have some salt, some cumin, some oregano, and a new spice. It's a green and red hatch chili flakes that I got at Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that new one a try. So I'm gonna add my spices to it, then mix it in well. I'm just gonna simmer this on low for about another 20 minutes and then it'll be ready. Okay, the basole is nice and hot now. It's time to serve. So I'm going to go ahead and get my bowl. You could go ahead and top it off with whatever toppings you prefer. I'm just going to add some cabbage to it and a little um, relish. And of course, my favorite, I love lemon, so lots of lemon juice in it. And a little bit of onion. And that's it. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Comment down below and let me know what you think. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe or hit that like button. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.